What is happening, y'all? Welcome to the next game we are jumping into. Huge thanks to the folks at Square Enix for this. This is about to be an amazing journey. So, uh, full disclosure, I have never played Crisis Core. This is gonna be my first time playing this game, my first time learning about this story. Um, I know a little bit about Zack, you know, obviously that, that Cloud, in a sense, kind of like identity theft him. Um, and I know that this is where, where Sephiroth realizes that, like, he was created. But that's about it. Like, I, I know, like, wiki entries about this game. So to see it remade with, like, the same glorious graphics that we got in the updated Final Fantasy VII, it's going to be pretty dope. gonna be good load game there's no save why is it telling me that anyway let's hit options uh let's set up a couple stuff subtitles on auto advance on we'll do english vibration is good that's all we had to do what is convert save oh no we don't have that okay new game um i'm fine with the english voices for this I think we played hard mode on uh, on Final Fantasy VII, so let's go for that here. Worst case, I can always drop it down. Screen brightness looks good to me. Let's, nope. let's jump in. Zack, focus. There are no Shinra troops on this train. Understood? Hello to you, too. Zack is just straight styling on all these people. Train mark 93 to rerouted to Sector 1 Station 
Zach speaking. Making progress, Zach. Angeal, what's going on? Why are we fighting Shinra troops? They're Wu Tai troops in disguise. Now, head to the open area above. You mean towards Sector 8? Yes. But first, you're gonna have to clear a path. Clear a path? You'll see what I mean. Be careful. So I can cut loose, right? Within reason. It's showtime. Activating combat mode. Right. Move, attack, guard, dodge. Materia, hold L1 on one on combo. Okay, what do we have? Oh, we have Thundaga. We have a little bit of Viagra. Gazaga. What is the resource? Am I using my MP? Oh, that's you. Okay, I see MP and AP. Piece of cake. I'll make first in no time. Go up the stairs at the end of the platform. You got it. Ha. Be fighting a behemoth, I feel like, but okay. Activating combat mode. All right, what is that D? What is this? The slot reel spins the top left corner. Represent the digital mind wave. Certain images or numbers match on the DMW. Provides a variety of specs. The reels expend SP to automatically spin and stop. More images are collected as the game progresses. When images match, a limit break is entered, and a limit break move is added to your stock. When numbers match. Various enhancements are granted according to the number shown. Furthermore, when a, a number matchup occurs during a real image, limit verge, Zack and or, or his equipped material will go up. So I hit like the mega jackpot with three Zacks, three ones, and three sevens. When a number match occurs during a real image. What is a real image? Images match. I think it means when a number match occurs on top of an image match, maybe? Exit dodge, L R1 to, to guard. Um, I wonder if I can... Uh... Ah. What is this? X for numbers, no limit verge. If numbers match when the image reels are not in a limit verge state, this is super confusing. <laughs> when the numbers match, I get a variety of effects. 7-7, seven -seven, null physical damage. 7-7-AP seven -seven and MP cost zero. Ones are invincible. Twos are zeroed out MP cost. Threes are nullify magic damage. Fours are AP cost zero. Fives are nullify physical damage. Well, how's that different from the 7-7? I don't think it is. 777 is invincible, limited time, 111 is invincible. So basically I get I get either uh, 
I get costs nullified, I get a critical boost, or I get a uh, temporary vulnerability to certain things. Effects on numbers, limit verge. When the image reels are in a limit verge state, and numbers between one and six match, the materia set in the corresponding slot will level up. One level is gained for a double match, two levels for a triple match. Okay, what is a limit verge state? Thirty three, one fifty one. So that's seventy, that's like two hundred and some change. Nine, two, two. That'd be like two twenty, so ice is definitely hitting. Ice is consistently gonna do. Using items during battle. Circle. Whoa, what is this? Limit break chain three level slash. When all image reels match, a limit break state is entered, and a corresponding limit break move is added to your stock. Stock limit break moves can be unleashed at the time of your choosing, but they will all vanish at the end of battle. Unleash it. Normal DMW mode. Bringing out the big guns. Here we go. Go, go, go! Cost activated. Well, you're dead now. Showing your back to the enemy. Overconfidence will destroy you. <sighs> What is this? <laughs> Damn it. You're not the only hero. It's over. Impossible. Super confused. Uh, thanks, Angel. thing the whole time. Wait, so it was a virtual Sephiroth? But I thought Sephiroth was like still part of Shinra at this point. Training's over. Why? You serious? I was just getting warmed up. Zack. Hmm? Embrace your dreams. Huh? If you want to be a hero, you need to have dreams and honor.
like I said, I don't know anything about this, but from, from what from what I understand of like the wiki entries, I thought he was like Sephiroth's apprentice, basically. So I'm just gonna forget everything that I thought I knew, because um, because apparently none of that's relevant. Hey, Zach, you seem a little on edge. Can you blame me? All this training and no assignments. Like they're hanging me out to dry. You must be pretty busy with everyone off base. Uh, off base? Wait, haven't you heard? There's been a mass desertion at Soldier. Huh? One of the firsts has deserted. Took a bunch of seconds and thirds with him. All from Wutai. Motive? Goal? All a mystery right now. This mass soldier desertion is why your training's on hold. Whoa. A first. Zack, you're up. Yeah, finally. Time for some real action. Yes, it'll be your show. Yes! Report to Director Lazard. There'll be a briefing. Zach. It's good to finally meet face to face. Lazard, Director of Soldier. Hey, uh. <laughs> On to business. Soldier First Class Genesis. A month ago, he went missing during a mission in Wutai. Know anything about this? Not a clue. Hmm. The mission is currently stuck in limbo. That's why we've decided to send you. Uh, to Wutai? Yes. This war has gone on long enough. I've recommended huh? you for first. <laughs> oh, Angel! I love you, man! <laughs> Angel! Uh. Don't make me regret this, Zack. Sir. Once you're packed, you'll leave at once. After entering Wutai, we go straight to work. If you have any questions about missions and combat, he can help you. Hey, Zach, anything you want to know, just ask. First, we should really go over combat. You probably got a handle on it in training, but I sent you a mail explaining the basics. Take a look, okay? I mean, everything except for the, the lottery system was pretty straightforward. View your mail by going to mail in the main menu, unread mail, select it with R1 from the field. Which actually, I want to see if I can there button settings ah it sucks I was really hoping to make guard uh, make guard L1 and then Tyria command display R1 just swap those two buttons because guard is like always L1 in, like every single game we play it's kind of a weird thing to think about like I wonder why they, they did that um, make it R2. Help that much. Wait. Switch target lock. If I do that, that's gonna conflict with there. It still doesn't. Okay. Yeah, there's no way to, to switch that around. Okay. So, did you read it? Oh, uh, no, I did not. Uh, it's all pretty straightforward.
Save points, restores everything, otherwise items and magic. The DMW is the weirdest thing to me. When certain images or numbers match variety of effects, they expend SP to automatically spin and stop. More images are collected as the game progresses. When images are match, so image matching gives us a limit break. Numbers matching gives us enhancements. I don't know what it means when another when a number match occurs during a real image limit verge. I don't know anything about limit. What is limit verge? Effects of numbers limit verge. When the images when the image reels are in a limit verge state. Numbers between one and six match the materia set to the corresponding slot will level up. Because I think the limit verge might be those uh those little arrows. That's the only difference. I mean I guess they're kind of glowing a little bit. If numbers match when the image reels are not in limit verge, certain enhancements. Okay, so my three images matching, I get a limit. And then if I have little arrows, my materia is gonna level up. If I don't have arrows, I instead just get a bonus effect. So the question is what triggers limit verge? I guess it's just time-based. I didn't see anything about Limit Verge in particular. What's that? Shops? Oh, it's the Shinra shop. So, did you... Thoughts? I mean, I doubt you'd get it all on one read. That is so not true. Well, it's there if you want to review. Oh, the materia you were using during training has been taken back. Powerful materia have to be earned. Those are the soldier rules. Now, let's talk about missions. The various services Shinra provides for civilians, those are what we call missions. To take on missions, you first have to register your information on the mission board. Once registered, you can look up mission information on your handset. I'll show you how to register on the board. Come on! Main event, sub event, open the map, square, compass. Okay. Now that you're officially registered, you should try a mission. Oh, yeah. Good idea. The save points that way. If you're not completely sure about something, read the tutorial mail that I sent you. Register go to missions by going to a save point and selecting missions from the main menu. When you clear a mission, you'll receive rewards, special materia, new missions become available. Take on available missions at any time, so you should take them on when you feel your level to improve your skills. Save. Oh, wait. Okay, so I can just pull up missions from any save point. Or I can, I think this is just supposed to be like a, yeah, this is where you get your missions from. Maybe. I don't know, that was just registering for one. Just five stages, and the higher the stage, the higher the probability. Oh, well, there, there we go. That's the limit verge explanation. Uh, let's see. Gauge status changes according to various factors. Heavenly, sky high, normal. Okay. Go from heavenly to low. Bring limit break, receiving certain attacks. Hmm. Let's go. 
I really wish I could swap my R1 and L1. It would make so much more sense. I wonder if I could do it on, like, the PlayStation side somewhere. I just change how those buttons bind. I might be able to. But that's something I'll fiddle with after this episode. Nice work. You cleared the mission. I could have done it blindfolded. <laughs> You're the man. I can't wait to see how you do in Wu Tai. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Let me explain about these supply pods. In these pods, you'll find items that you can use in battle. Compliments of the company. So they're provisions for soldier members. Make sure they don't go to waste. Check the pods before every mission. Free loot? Ah, I wonder what's in there today. Alright, looks like you're all ready to head out. Lastly, let me tell you about mail. Yikes. Just now, I, you can also get messages from Director Liz. You should check it regularly. Who knows? Maybe. Yes! But don't just read mail that you get from girls, okay? <sighs> well, looks like it's time for you to head out. You yeah, thank you. Six materia, four accessories. The number will gradually increase. Damn, just load up on accessories. Five equipment sets can be saved. That's dope. So I can make like a magic set, melee set, etc. So Blizzard is my strongest at the moment with a plus 12. Did I just jump back in and do this as, like, repeat? Wait, wait, what is this? Next bonus, Thunderblade? How do I... So I could just redo it. Okay. Well, before we head on out, um, I guess talking to him, we're going to ship on out to Wutai. Let's wrap up here. I'm going to actually... I want to check the audio levels, and then I'm going to see if there's a way for me to just rebind uh, those two buttons. Because I'd much rather block with L1 and then hold R1 and hit a button to cast my materia. And I think I might be able to do that on the back end outside of the game. So I'm going to mess with that. Uh, either way, though, stay tuned. We will have more of this coming your way later today. Uh, more than likely, we're going to, I think we're going to go two episodes a day with this series. Um, I know we did three with God of War, but that was quite a bit longer than this will be. Um, and of course, for those curious, we are, of course, playing on the PS5 for this. But either way, we're going to wrap things up here and we will have more Crisis Core coming your way later today.